this example we have again several things going on. First thing that I see as we're moving left to right is we have this double negative here. If you'll remember that double negative is really a positive. So if I rewrite this problem that becomes 35 plus 3 equals 3 times x minus 2 plus 17. Now we also have a distribution here. That distribution really needs to be done before we start combining any like terms or moving things around. So I would recopy my problem doing the distribution. 35 plus 3 equals 3 times x is 3x. Three, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 plus 17. Now we can start combining like terms. We have a 35 and a positive 3 on the left hand side. Those are like terms. They can be combined to 38 equals 3x minus 6 plus 17. Now on the right hand side we have negative 6 and a positive 17 which can be combined also. So now we have 38 equals 3x plus 9. Now remember we're trying to get x alone. So we have a multiplication that we have to break up and then we also have an addition. The addition is more like the straggler. It's hanging out a little bit looser of a bond. We can get rid of it first. So let's subtract 9 from both sides which will give us 38 minus 9 is 27 equals 3x and now we can undo this multiplication. The opposite of multiplying by 3 would be to divide both sides by 3. So we're left with 27 divided by 3 is 9 equals x. In this example we have x over negative 4 equals negative 1 minus a negative 8. So here again I see that double negative first. Let's correct that and rewrite it as the positive before we go any further. Now do you see that we have like terms on the right hand side? The negative 1 and the positive 8 can be combined to give us a 7. And remember we are trying to solve for x. So in order to undo this division, the opposite of dividing by negative 4 would be to multiply by negative 4. So on the left hand side we'd be left with x and on the right hand side 7 times negative 4 would be negative 28. In this last example of this type, here again, hopefully by now you're beginning to see a distribution immediately. Anytime you're multiplying a number or an item to more than one term, then you're always going to be distributing. So we're going to have to do our distribution. So we have 65y equals 8 times 8y is 64y. 8 times negative 9 would be negative 72. Now I've got y's on both sides, so I'm going to remove this 64y by doing the opposite. 64y minus 64y would cancel that out. So 65y minus 64y is y on the left hand side, and on the right hand side we're left with negative 72.